In order to address climate change at any level, I mean really address climate change, the uh, emissions of greenhouse gases need to go down to zero, uh, uh, z uh, zero uh, completely zero. And that's really difficult. Uh, in the UK, we have a plan to reduce our emissions drastically by at least 80% in 2050, but we don't have a plan to reduce emissions to zero. And because of the residual emissions, then this is not completely addressing a changing climate. Uh, in, uh, in, in the difficulty is that some emissions are really difficult to bring down to completely zero if you think about agricultural emissions, some industrial processes like making cement for example, aviation, some sectors are really, we call them difficult sectors and to, uh, to give room for these difficult sectors we at the same time have to develop technologies to capture carbon, CO2, out of the atmosphere and store it underground. And these technologies exist at a small scale, but they're really not demonstrated at a large scale. We don't have financial mechanisms, who's going to pay for that, who's in charge of developing all this. So the problem is really difficult to solve. In order uh, to think about when do we need to have net zero emissions in the UK, well, sometimes in the second half of this century, I and mean, after 2050, well before 2100, the faster we do it, the lower the climate will change, the better it is for us.